Hey guys, Matt here from Addicted to Tools. I'm here with my 2020 Pajero Sport. And what I'm doing today is running through a tow bar installation. Um, I've got a tow bar from Tow Bars Australia and um, basically I'll be throwing it on today. So stay tuned, cheers guys. So here's what we got, it's all wrapped up. I'm about to open it up. I've got a couple of my tools ready. Got my barcode, socket set. Basically everything you can need. There's a few bits and pieces missing, but um, they're in my other tool bags, so I'll get them out. What you got on this side is your double end spanners there. Big kit, it's a really good kit. Definitely highly recommended. And just got other bits and pieces in the back here. And uh, we'll go from there. So what we're starting off with is taking a couple of these bolts out. You got one there, just behind the mud flap. And then this side, just gotta take these ones off as well. So all I'm using is just my little 12 volt Milwaukee impact with a 10 mil socket on it. So the next ones you've got to remove just here, one there, one there. You get that with a Phillips or the same 10 mil bit. So basically you've got to remove these two, this one, two, I think just the third one there. It's just behind the strut. So try to figure out how to get them in there. They're just a Phillips head. Obviously do it on both sides. That actually fits in there. Go nice and slow. There you go. So one thing I also do is I take a photo with the screws in my hand of where I got them out. Just so I know what screws go where, because obviously there's a few different types. So we've got to remove, you can see just here, got two little push, give them out. So go that out. And the other one. If you pull that back, all you have is a little lip, lip on the actual bar, lip it off, and then you've got it started. It basically should. So we'll do the other side. Now you've just got to unhook these, unclip them. So just unclip that. Now the whole bar's off. All right, so now we've just got to take off these tow points. There's one on this side and one on the other side. This is a 17 mil impact bit.
arms off, uh, the tow points, taking those off. There's another bit that sits in there that the tow bar, uh, the tow points go onto, taking that off. What we have is, so you have your side bracket. Spacer. Space will sit there. So So I've bolted all these together. I dropped the tire down, it's just hanging loose because it was hitting hard against the rear bar. So if that's hitting, that's the best thing to probably do. And uh, we'll go to the next part. All right, so I've got to cut a little bit for the bumper to fit. So what we'll do, I've got to go straight down 80 mil. So what I've got is the Milwaukee uh, jigsaw, just a 12 volt with a little fine blade on it. And I'll give that a go. So what you have in the engine bay for the wiring harness, I found it just down here next to the, the washer bottles. Basically, you can see I've connected it up just with the four pair. And so that's hanging out here. So don't connect that up to anything yet. And then the next part is just removing, it's just these little clips. Just gonna remove them from the quarter panel in here. And then in the instructions, it tells you, you got the four, four way connector there. So that's just sitting up there tapes. Just connect that up. That goes down to the two, two pair connector. That's sitting there. So that's all ready. So what you've got is your main harness. This is that one. This will just connect into this. This is in the rear wheel arch. And what we have is a mounting sticker for the ECU. 
So basically, I've got an alcohol wipe, wipe it down, and I'll stick it in the back there, and then connect it up. I've mounted the ECU just up in the back there. As you can see, I've tucked it away around there just so it's fully out of the way. Plugged it in, and what I've done, I've plugged the actual main harness that comes from the back into that. But what I did, you're supposed to cut a new hole. If we get under the car here, this is in the rear uh, tire well. Where are we? If you can see that. That's an existing grommet there. I've just made the hole a tiny bit bigger and I've pushed that harness through and I'll come back, I'll tape that up and fully seal it. And now what we have, I've fed the tire, the um, full harness around there. It's just hanging down there at the moment. And I think it's time to put the rear bar back on. tail that comes with that harness and you just put it onto you can see there's a bolt a bolt in there you just hook it on there and then you hook up the main cable that we plugged in to here at the beginning hook it up there and you're pretty much ready to go As you can see, I've hooked all the stuff up. We've got a bit of a gap on the top. So, but it was sort of hard to measure, but each side's really nice and snug. So, came out really good. At the moment, the actual trailer plug, it comes with a mounting bracket. Um, I believe it says to mount it on the bumper. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to try to make up a little bracket out here and um, hook it up to the chassis there. So I'll just tie that up for now and do that later. All right, guys, so that's me all finished up for the day. We've installed the full tow bar and wiring harness. We're just waiting to mount the mount of the actual cable. Um, but that'll be in the future. So if you found this informational or you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to let me know, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and um, stay tuned for future content. Cheers, guys. Bye.